Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video I am going to be discussing how and why life is so much easier without Narciss. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, please send me an email. My email address is in the video description. If you would like to make a donation, you can do this through the live chat or you can donate from my PayPal. The link is in the video description. Life is so much easier without Narciss. When you are around Narciss, life can be so difficult. They affect every aspect of your life. The longer you are around them, you will notice everything seems to fall apart. You start thinking, feeling and behaving the way that they want. You change your personality and character to make them feel more comfortable. You forget about the person you used to be before you met them. You stop doing the things you once enjoyed doing, such as hobbies or interests, going to certain places or talking to certain people. You don't do that stuff anymore because the narcissist trained you to lower your vibration, to make them feel more comfortable and to prevent any narcissistic injuries. Being around Narciss, you are moving through life feeling intense negative emotions such as anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt and shame. This is no fun. Being around Narciss, you experience misery and suffering daily. This is not how you are supposed to be living. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. Life doesn't have to be so hard. It can be easy. It only seems so difficult because you are around difficult people. You are around people who believe that life is supposed to be difficult. I prefer to avoid these types of people as I prefer to live a life which is fun. I prefer to live a life which is more enjoyable. Difficult people like Narciss will only hold you back and keep you down where they are at. And then they will blame you for that too. They claim that you are not good enough or something is wrong with you. Funny how you never dealt with any of this before you met them. Before you met these people, you were likely vibrating at quite a high level. This is what attracted them to you. They love high energy people. They do not have that. They also do not experience the high emotional vibrational frequencies which you were probably experiencing daily before you met them. Emotional vibrational frequencies such as peace, joy, love, reason, acceptance and willing willingness. Narcissists are attracted to those frequencies initially, but these frequencies are not compatible with any narcissist. Narcissists are shame based individuals. Shame is the lowest emotional vibrational frequency. This can never be compatible with any high emotional vibrational frequency. So by default, all they can do is bring you down. All they can do is cause you to feel intense, low level frequencies such as anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt and shame.
The narcissist will use manipulative tactics such as denial, projection, blame shifting and gaslighting to make you believe that those are your natural frequencies. They are not. It is the narcissist who brought you down to that level. But of course, they will not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. They will deny any responsibility and instead project their insecurities, flaws or imperfections onto you. They will shift the blame onto you and they will gaslight you into believing that there is something wrong with you and you are crazy. So each day you feel all of these intense negative emotions, low vibrational frequencies. You are likely struggling in your life, feeling completely dissatisfied and unfulfilled with your life. And worst of all, you have been made to believe that this is all your fault. This negative, low vibrational person is who you are, or at least that's what they want you to believe. So you can continue living your life in this way, experiencing constant difficulties, isolation and loneliness without ever questioning the narcissist as being the source of your problems. Narcissists are boring. They are no fun. They do the same boring things every day. Never experiencing any real joy or happiness with anything that they do. They have all of these perceived limitations and they have put themselves in, in the box. Because of these perceived limitations, they feel that they need to limit you. They need to put you in a box where you cannot talk to your friends anymore. You cannot have a social circle. You cannot have ho hobbies or interests. In some cases, they won't even let you have a job. They just expect you to stay home all day. All of this to prevent any possibilities of them having a narcissistic injury. But even with all these precautions, you still experience daily arguments or disagreements with a narcissist. Every day is filled with their hatred, anger, envy and jealousy. It's like you can't do anything without setting them off. And over time, the narcissist has led you to believe that this is normal. The truth is, it's not normal at all. Let me wake you up to the truth of these types of people. They are trying to enslave you, trying to put you into a box, trying to prevent you from doing all of the things you would otherwise be doing if you, if you were not with them. Because any sense of happiness, satisfaction or fulfillment you experience in your, in your life reflects on how miserable, dissatisfied and unfulfilled they are in their lives. That's why they are always so hateful, angry, envious and jealous towards you. That's why they will constantly argue or disagree with you. Life can seem so hard when you are around these people. Everything seems so difficult. 
even the most basic, simplest things can be turned into something complex and confusing when you are around them. And although they will say and do whatever they can to make you believe that this is normal, it's not normal at all. It's normal for them, in their world, where they feel compelled to have all of this abuse, manipulation and reality distortion to deny or manage any kind of reflection on their suppressed emotions or whatever else they are trying to deny. Everything seems so complicated and complex around these types of people because of this. From childhood they have learned to suppress these intense negative emotions. They were not allowed to, ha they were not allowed to have them around their narcissistic parent. So they had to suppress them. They were taught by their narcissistic parent to prevent the action or expression of a feeling or idea. They were not allowed to express these actions or expressions of their feelings or ideas. They also never learned how to self-reflect or look within themselves to deal with this. By default, their only other option is to project these actions or expressions onto you. They want you to express them or act them out. So it isn't long until your daily experience is to live in misery and suffering. Experiencing constant arguments and disagreements which are often completely meaningless and in insignificant. Worst of all, you are blamed for this and made to believe that this is just how life is supposed to be. Let me wake you up to the truth, survivors and thrivers. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. All of these arguments and disagreements most often have nothing to do with you and everything to do with the narcissist. They are not personal at all. The narcissist is acting on their dysfunctional thoughts which then produce these intense negative emotions which they have to project onto you. Just think about this for a moment. If we had a conversation together, you and me, and we had a disagreement, it would not go on for long periods of time. It would be resolved within seconds and we would reach a mutual understanding or a resolution. It would also not be brought up again the next day or the day after that. There would be no grudges or resentment. You cannot do this with a narcissist. How can you have a mutual understanding or a resolution with a person who has an inner dialogue or inner critic which is programmed to block or deny any form of mutual understanding or resolution. And believe me, there is nothing normal about this. If we were talking and we had a disagreement about something, it would be over in seconds. It would not go on for days, weeks, months or years like with a narcissist.
You will not agree with someone all of the time. Disagreements are a natural part of the relationship. But that does not mean that they have to turn into arguments. We can compromise. We can learn to be in the same proximi proximity of understanding. As emotionally mature adults, we naturally have good conflict resolution skills. So a disagreement will never turn into grudges or resentment that lasts a lifetime. All of these intense negative emotions you have to deal with from them, all of the arguments and disagreements You can't go out anywhere. You can't talk to anyone or do anything. And you have been taught to believe that this is normal. This is how your life is supposed to be. Every aspect of your life, every aspect of your character and personality has been changed or adjusted to make the narcissist feel more comfortable. And now you are not even living. You are not even being you. So it should be no surprise that life is miserable when you are around these people. You can't even be yourself. You can't even live the life that you want to live. And there is nothing normal about this. You have been trained to live within the bounds of the, of the perceived limitations which the narcissist has created in their own minds and then apply to you and your life to prevent the sense of injustice or unfairness they would otherwise feel. This is how your life will be when you are around self-hating, insecure and emotionally unhealthy people. But there is nothing normal about this. If we were in a relationship together, your life would not be this way. You would not be stuck at home every day. You would not be afraid to go out and develop social circles or have hobbies and interests. You would not feel as though you are doing something wrong when you talk to certain people or go to certain places. Whether we were going together or if you choose to go on your own or with your friends. In a healthy relationship, none of that would be an issue. There would be no envy or jealousy because in a healthy relationship, there is a mutual understanding that we have our own separate lives. There is no need to control every aspect of your life or set perceived limitations. You can move through your life freely without constant fear, stress or anxiety. Life is so much easier without narcissists. Everything comes together naturally. There are no constant or repeating arguments or disagreements. None that can be resolved within a few seconds. But you don't get that with a narcissist. 
Everything is a problem. Everything has to be controlled. Your daily living experience has to be limited or restricted in some way. And it's no fun. It's not living. You are basically on autopilot, living the way that the narcissist wants you to live. Not having a life of your own, not having a mind of your own. And that is why you feel so drained and lifeless, as though there is no happiness or joy in your life. Leave the narcissist with all of the arguments, disagreements, grudges and resentment which they have held on to. Leave them with all of the negative energy. It clearly resonates more with them than it does with you. Once you leave the narcissist, you will discover how much easier life can be. Everything that was once limited or restricted in your life will soon develop on its own. You will find social circles, have healthy relationships, good careers, hobbies and interests. All of this is so easy to achieve and obtain without these people in your life. It's only difficult because you have a narcissist in your life, controlling everything you do. Their life is difficult because they lack the capabilities or motivation to create what they want. They have limited or restricted beliefs Because of this, they feel as though they have to limit or restrict you in some way. But once you leave these people, you will find that life is so much easier. You will realize that you had the capabilities and motivation all along. It's just that they were holding you back. They were preventing you from being your best self because it hurt them. They didn't want you to know that. So they made you believe that something was wrong, something was wrong with you or you were not good enough. That was not true. You are good enough. You are more than enough. More than they will ever be. And they knew this all along, which is why they felt so compelled to limit or restrict you, prevent you from being your true self, prevent you from living the life that you wanted to live. But once you finally decide to leave the narcissist, you will realize that life is so much easier without them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.